Welcome back to Challenge Me and Drew Hall. Today we're gonna take a look at my Enamoto train. Now this is not just any Enamoto train, we'll see mine on our layout. No, mine this is a little bit different because it's long, it's heavy, and it's DPU'd. So we have different configurations. So one of the configurations on the train is the two by two by one, which means it's two to head in two mid and one on the rear. And you can configure as how many ways you want to do it, but I'm just showing you how I do it, all right? So, the cars itself. So we got about two of these here from the recent release of these cars here. I got about three of these. You can take a look at that there. Also got the profit ground one like there. I like the profit ground stuff. It's pretty cool. I like it. All right, and here we got one of these on the train. But I got seven all together. Also ones in profit ground too. Now these uh, walk the cars. Take a look at that here. See that? So on the, this train is five of these. And another one here. And I got 15 of these here on the train. Now, all the containers is uh, weighted. Now, I use hex bolts. You can use anything you want to use. So, uh, candy, cookies, pennies, whatever. But anyway, I'm using hex bolts here. Using my kind of Home Depot. I go get these uh, nuts here. Uh, for good weight see it nice and thick and you go a little bit heavier there if you like also half nuts here you need to buy the box is about i mean about 50 coming here and there's the 50 pack here also and with the halves it's uh this size here for halves you know you keep on and on i think I think it's more uh, cost effective to go with the uh, nuts. And this is my opinion, you know, anything you can use, you can use sand if you like. So uh, this is the opinion on um, weighing the cars down on my inner motor train. Now this particular car weighs about um, four ounces and some change, depends on the manufacturer and the different containers. Because um, believe it or not, the plastic is thicker and thinner than the uh, other ones. And also to keep everything together, these uh, so all these uh, bolts glued in in the car is uh, E6000 here. Uh, good stuff, recommended in uh, some places, even holding down the track. Just saying. And my little 20 foot container here is about two ounces. It fluctuates the, the, the plastic and um, who makes it. Now, the heaviest cars that I have, or I should say, the heaviest containers that I have here on the train is about um, about 11 ounces, and I put them on the hind and or and the beginning of the uh, locomotive. So I found that it was um, if like had like a dead spot or stalls, the car that's lighter will pop off the rails. But if that directly front or behind the locomotive, it won't pop off. And one of them may ask me, "Hey, engineer Hall, how many cars you got?" Well, the max that I have on this train is about 62 cars. So, it's a pretty long train, and it's very heavy, very heavy, because, you know, the weight, got to keep them weighed down, and um, I'm, I'm glad that I got them a heavy the way you are. So, I think the heavier you are, the better it is. But um, if you don't go too heavy, it's okay to follow the uh, recommended weight that's for the left for the car. Now... Someone may say, and you know, how do you do it? I want to run DP train to And I said, you can. It's easy, man. Now, what's, this is how you do it. You, you get your locomotives. Now, you can run any manufacturer. See, I ain't going to lie to you. My stuff ain't speed match. So, I stick with the same manufacturer. So, I didn't have no problems. So, I got skeleton with skull trains, Athen with Athen, and Enamon with Enamon. I didn't have no problems. That, that just man got a problem. Well, eventually I will do it. So I got the speedometer over there. But anyway, so what I did with the head in and the hind in first, and I kept it from the hind end all the way up. So my philosophy behind that to me, and I could be wrong, but this is how I'm doing. I'm just sharing it with you guys, is that 
um, when the head end goes through a you know, dirty spot on the track, this is a big red road, dirty spot on the track, the hind engines will push it. Easy, right? Boom, boom, boom. Anyway, questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'll try to get to them. And I hope you guys and guys and girls enjoy my DP in a motor train.
Yeah.